Hello everyone, welcome to Midday News. My name is Aditi Nakpal Kirotra. Let's get the news rolling with the headlines first. Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro holds stocks with Prime Minister Modi at Hyderabad House. Discussion on issues like oil and gas, mining and cyber security. Bolsonaro also meets S. Jai Shankar, receives ceremonial reception at Rashtrapati Bhavan. Ad hoc committee to check pornography on social media submits report to Rajya Sabha Chairman M. Venkaya Naidu. Committee makes 40 recommendations including apps on all devices and filters to regulate children's access to pornographic content. On National Voters Day today, President Cohen gives away awards for best electoral practices. Vice President Naidu says Aware Voters Foundation of India's Democracy. PM Modi expresses gratitude to EC for making electoral process vibrant, more participative. President to address nation on the eve of 71st Republic Day at 7 p.m. Padma Awards to be announced. Tight security in Delhi ahead of Republic Day celebrations. Coronavirus toll climbs to 41. Infection reaches France and Australia, even as 13 cities are under lockdown in China. India also on alert, 11 people under observation upon return from China. Brazilian President Jair Messias Bolsonaro met Prime Minister Narendra Modi at Hyderabad House today. Around 15 agreements will likely be signed to boost cooperation in a wide range of areas like oil and gas, mining and cyber security after talks. The two sides are also expected to unveil an action plan setting specific goals for deeper cooperation in a range of key areas. Earlier, Brazilian President was accorded a ceremonial welcome at Rashtrapati Bhavan. President Ramnath Kovind and PM Modi were also present. President of Brazil, Bolsonaro also paid floral tribute to Mahatma Gandhi at Raj Ghat. Union Minister V. Murli Tharan was also present. Brazilian President also met with External Affairs Minister S. Chai Shankar in New Delhi. Both leaders discussed ways to deepen ties between the two countries in a range of areas, including trade and investment. Bolsonaro arrived in New Delhi on Friday on a four-day visit to India. He will be the chief guest at Republic Day celebrations on Sunday. Brazilian President is accompanied by eight ministers, four members of parliament, senior officials and and a large business delegation. Let's connect with our foreign correspondent, Akhilesh Suman. Akhilesh Ji, Bolsonaro, Brazilian president, is here in New Delhi. Tell us uh, his plan of action for the next three days. India and Brazil will upgrade their strategic partnership with an action plan and sign a bilateral investment treaty. On January 26th, Jair Bolsonaro will be, in the will be the third Brazilian president to attend India's 2020 Republic Day celebrations. Akhilesh is on phone line with us. Akhilesh Ji, uh, Bolsonaro, a Brazilian president, is here in New Delhi. What's his plan of action for the next three days? You know that uh, today he is uh, already having summit level meeting with Prime Minister Narendra Modi, and uh, he is also going to meet uh, President Ramnath Kovin, and uh, before that he will meet uh, Vice President Venkaiah Naidu. Uh, these are the three important programs, and in between, you know, after the summit level meeting is over, uh, it will take I think a few more minutes. So we are waiting for their coming and addressing the press conference. And we are expecting uh, more than a dozen agreement uh, being signed between India and Brazil at this moment because uh, both have understood, you know, that uh, everyone's uh, capacity and both India and Brazil 
look to be complementary economy in many ways like you know india needs uh, many raw materials uh, minerals and uh, brazil has a good resources of mineral india needs agriculture technology and brazil has very strong agriculture technology uh, other than that you know that uh, there are many convergences between the two countries as far as politics is concerned but um, uh, after that uh, you know tomorrow uh, he will be chief guest at republic day parade uh, you will see and uh, day after tomorrow he is going to address india brazil business forum and then he will go to agra and then from agra he will return to brazil yeah. so this is the major program and that brazilian president is going to have but uh, you know that uh, i think uh, this uh, visit is going to be landmark because india and brazil both are asking for democratization of international institutions and in that way you know it is very important that both india and brazil will come together and converge and uh, make a strategy so that how they can work together in reform of united nations security council and other international fora you know thank you akhilesh ji for all those updates national voters day is being celebrated today the theme for national voters day 2020 is electoral literacy for stronger democracy at the 10th national voters day function being organized by election commission at manik shaw center in new delhi president ramnath kovin gave away awards gave away awards for best electoral practices union minister ravi shankar prasad also attended the function This year marks an important milestone in the history of Indian democracy as Election Commission of India completes 70 years of its journey. The day is celebrated on 25th Jan every year since 2011 to aware people of their voting rights and make more people contribute to the electoral, electoral political process in the country. <clears throat> On National Voters Day, Vice President M. Venkaiah Naidu urged all 18 plus citizens to enroll themselves in the voters list and exercise their franchise during elections. He said every voter must participate in the electoral process and strengthen the foundations of India's vibrant democracy. In a Twitter message, the Vice President said voters should elect their representatives on the basis of four Cs, namely character, conduct, caliber and capability and not on the basis of adverse set of four Cs namely cash caste community and criminal prowess extending greetings to people on the national voters day prime minister narendra modi said the country expresses gratitude to the election commission for its efforts to make the electoral process more vibrant and participative He hoped that the day inspires people to work towards increased voter awareness and turnout which makes the democracy stronger. The ad hoc committee of the Rajya Sabha led by Jai Ram Ramesh to study the alarming issue of pornography on social media and its effect on children and society as a whole submitted its report to Rajya Sabha chairman M Venkaiya Naidu in parliament today. The ad hoc committee has made 40 far-reaching recommendations to prevent sexual abuse of children and to contain access to and transmission of child pornography content on social media. Among the major recommendations is mandatory apps on all devices and filters to regulate children's access to pornographic content. Regulation of online payments to buy child pornography material. The committee also recommends changes to the POCSO and IT acts to protect children from sexual abuse and holding ISPs responsible for providing access to and disseminating child pornography content. The committee has also recommended a national level nodal agency to counter the menace and calls for an international alliance against child abuse. really it's a very in depth study you people have made and also 
came out with uh, constructive suggestions. I'm very happy about it. This is a new experiment we have made forming an ad hoc committee on a larger issue of uh, social concern. I will uh, go, I have gone through it at a glance, but I have to go through it in detail, discuss with other officials, and also discuss with uh, the minister's concern informally. And then we have to move on on this. And I personally feel uh, that this should be discussed in the House also, so that you get larger and wider support. I once again compliment you and other members of the committee for their contribution and also for timely submission of the report. President Ramnath Kovind will address the nation today on the eve of the 71st Republic Day. The address will be broadcast on the entire national network of All India Radio and telecast over all channels of Doordarshan from 7 p.m. in Hindi, followed by the English version. It will also be telecast live on Rajya Sabha TV. Broadcast of the address in Hindi and English on Doordarshan will be followed by broadcast in regional languages by regional channels of Doordarshan. All India Radio will broadcast regional language versions from 9.30 p.m. onwards on its regional networks. Facial recognition system and drones are part of the measures taken by Delhi police ahead of the Republic Day in the national capital. Sharpshooters and snipers will be deployed atop high-rise buildings to keep a watch on the 8-kilometer-long parade route from Rajpa Rajpath to the Red Fort on 26th of January. Hundreds of CCTV cameras have also been installed as part of the security arrangements, including at least 150 cameras in areas covering Red Fort, Chani Chowk and Yamuna Khadar. Around 5,000 to 6,000 Delhi police personnel have been deployed in New Delhi district along with 50 companies of par paramilitary forces. The main zone of Rajpath will be closed till 12 p.m. on Sunday. Apart from securing the main venue at Rajpath, adequate security and traffic arrangements for the at-home function at Rashtrapati Bhavan have been made. More than 2,000 traffic police personnel have been deployed for smooth flow of traffic. A traffic advisory has also been issued about the police's elaborate arrangement for route diversions for the Republic Day. No traffic will be allowed in Rajpath from Vijay Chowk to India Gate from 6 p.m. today till the parade gets over on Sunday. Meanwhile, frisking at metro stations, railway stations, airport and bus terminals has also been tightened. The Delhi Metro Rail Corporation has said that metro services on 26 January will be partially curtailed. Entry and exit to Central Secretariat and Udyog Bhavan metro stations will remain shut till noon, while the Patel Chowk and Lok Kalyan Mark stations will remain closed from 8.45 a.m. to noon. With this, we'll halt in for a quick break, but we'll be back soon. Stay tuned with us. The government is set to slash the requirements and time taken for starting a new business from 10 processes and 18 days to 5 processes and as many days. It's another institutional forum for coordination of uh, 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 state policy towards businesses uh, uh, like GST Council will be a helpful instrument. So there uh, a lot of these issues, uh, nuts and bolts issues affecting businesses on a day to day basis can be discussed. The overall cost of doing business in the country has to be brought down in a manner, again, in an integrated manner where states and centre are looking at this thing together and bringing out policies where your overall ease of doing business ecosystem is such that, you know, businessmen can start businesses quickly. It, it, it takes a lot of uh, uh, education and learning uh, to go through that entire process to bring everybody onto the new system. Right, so implementation also is the key.
senior BJP leader and Home Minister Amit Shah will hold a volunteer meeting in Delhi today. Later in the day, Shah will hold public meetings in Bhavana and at Durga Chowk. Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal held a road show at Karol Bagh today. He is also scheduled to address a public meeting at Greater Kailash later in the day. Continuing with our election coverage, our focus today is on the Chani Chowk Assembly seat. With an electorate of only over 1,25,000, Chani Chowk is Delhi's smallest but one of the most prominent and prestigious seats, which is witnessing a three-way contest with candidates from Congress, BJP and AAP in the fray this time. Delhi's historical Chandni Chowk. The prominent market in Old Delhi dates to the founding of the then capital city of Shah Jahanabad when Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan established the Red Fort on the banks of the Yamuna in the 17th century. Part of Old Delhi, the Chandni Chowk constituency is mostly dominated by businesses and is considered an important seat by all political parties. The battle for the seat will be between three parties, the Congress, BJP and AAP. But the contest has taken an interesting turn following the defection of MLAs. In 2015, the Aam Aadmi Party fielded Alka Lamba, a former Congress leader who had joined the AAP then. She backed the seat for AAP but was disqualified in 2019 after she rejoined the Congress. Lamba is now seeking re-election on a Congress ticket. The Aam Aadmi Party has meanwhile fielded former veteran Congress leader Prahlad Singh Sani, who joined the party last year. Sani is four-time Congress MLA from this seat, retaining it from 1998 to 2015. The third main contender for the prestigious seat is BJP's Suman Kumar Gupta. यहां पर विकास के नाम पर अगर देखेंगे लियो में टूटी-फूटी सड़कें सीवर की समस्या पानी की समस्या ट्रैफिक जाम की समस्या समस्याओं से घिरा हुआ यह चांदनी चौक है हम चाहते हैं कि इसका विकास करें As elections approach locals in the area are relying on the candidates to find permanent solutions to issues like traffic jams parking and a pending redevelopment plan कहना चाहते हैं हमारा बिजनेस कम हो रहा है इससे सेल बहुत कम हो रही है डेढ़ साल हो गए इसको और कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है यही प्रॉब्लम है रोड की प्रॉब्लम वो बाहर भी जो है ना सीवर का पानी बह रहा है हैं जी और हम पैसे दे दे के भी दुखी हो गए कितने पैसे हम अपने पास से खर्च करें जल बोर्ड वाले आते हैं देखते हैं चले जाते हैं अभी पहले इन्होंने गांधी ग्राउंड की पार्किंग तोड़ी उसके बाद ये चांदनी चौक का काम शुरू कर दिया ये उसके बाद फिर अब अब ये क्या इन्होंने एक और पार्किंग बंद कर दी यहां तो गाड़ी लगाने की भी जगह नहीं है Chandni Chowk elected either the Congress or the BJP since its formation in 1993, but the picture changed in 2015 with the emergence of the Aam Aadmi Party. While the Congress ruled the constituency between 1998 and 2015, the BJP was in power between 1993 and 1998. With inputs from Lina Sharma, Bureau Report, Sabha TV. And now let's cut in live and listen in to the Brazilian President and Prime Minister who are addressing a press conference right now. This is the first time that we have to do this. We have to do this. We have to do this. We have to do Excellency, we have to do this. 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 We have to do हमारे मुख्य अतिथि हैं कल राजपथ पर गणतंत्र दिवस की परेड में आप भारत की विविधता का रंग भी रंगा और उल्लासपूर्ण स्वरूप देखेंगे ब्राजील खुद भी उल्लास से भरे पर्वों का देश है एक मित्र के साथ इस विशेष पर्व पर हम अपनी खुशी साझा करेंगे भारत का निमंत्रण स्वीकार करने के लिए मैं आपको धन्यवाद देता हूं यह तीसरा अवसर है 
जब ब्राजील के राष्ट्रपति ने यह सम्मान हमें दिया है और भारत और ब्राजील के बीच मजबूत मित्रता का प्रतीक है फ्रेंड्स भारत और ब्राजील की स्ट्रेटेजिक पार्टनरशिप हमारी समान विचारधारा और मूल्यों पर आधारित है और इसलिए भौगोलिक दूरी के बावजूद हम विश्व के अनेक मंचों पर साथ है और विकास के एक दूसरे के महत्वपूर्ण पार्टनर भी हैं और इसलिए आज राष्ट्रपति बल्सनारो और मैं हमारे द्विपक्षीय सहयोग को सभी क्षेत्रों में और बढ़ाने पर सहमत हुए हैं हमारी स्ट्रेटेजिक पार्टनरशिप को और मजबूत करने के लिए एक बृहद एक्शन प्लान तैयार किया गया है सन 2023 में दोनों देशों के बीच डिप्लोमेटिक संबंधों की प्लेटिनम जुबिली होगी मुझे पूरा विश्वास है कि तब तक यह एक्शन प्लान हमारी स्ट्रेटेजिक पार्टनरशिप पीपल टू पीपल टाइज और बिजनेस कॉपरेशन को और गहरा बनाएगा मुझे खुशी है कि हमने आज कई महत्वपूर्ण समझौते भी किए हैं विविध क्षेत्रों जैसे बायो एनर्जी कैटल जीनोमिक्स हेल्थ एंड ट्रेडिशनल मेडिसिन साइबर सिक्योरिटी विज्ञान और प्रौद्योगिकी गैस तथा संस्कृति में हमारे सहयोग और तेजी से आगे बढ़ेंगे गायों की स्वस्थ और उन्नत प्रजातियों पर सहयोग हमारे संबंधों का एक अनूठा और सुखद पहलू है किसी समय भारत से घीर और कांकरेजी गायें ब्राजील गई थी और आज ब्राजील और भारत इस विशेष पशुधन को बढ़ाने और उससे मानवता को लाभ पहुंचाने पर सहयोग कर रहे हैं इस सहयोग के आर्थिक सामाजिक और सांस्कृतिक महत्व को किसी भी भारतीय के लिए शब्दों में बयान कर पाना मुश्किल है फ्रेंड्स परंपरागत क्षेत्रों के अलावा कई नए क्षेत्र भी हमारे संबंधों में जुड़ रहे हैं हम डिफेंस इंडस्ट्रियल कोऑपरेशन को बढ़ाने के लिए नए तरीकों पर फोकस कर रहे हैं रक्षा सहयोग में हम ब्रॉड बेज पार्टनरशिप चाहते हैं इन संभावनाओं को देखते हुए हमें खुशी है कि अगले महीने लखनऊ में डेफ एक्सपो 2020 में ब्राजील का एक बड़ा डेलीगेशन भाग लेगा मुझे प्रसन्नता है कि बायो एनर्जी आयुर्वेदा और एडवांस कंप्यूटिंग पर रिसर्च में सहयोग बढ़ाने पर हमारे एकेडमिक और रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूशन के बीच सहमति बनी है एक्सलेंसी भारत के इकोनॉमिक ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन में ब्राजील एक वैल्यूएबल पार्टनर है फूड और एनर्जी के क्षेत्रों में हमारी आवश्यकताओं के लिए हम ब्राजील को एक विश्वसनीय स्रोत के रूप में देखते हैं हमारा द्विपक्षीय व्यापार हालांकि बढ़ रहा है दोनों बड़ी अर्थव्यवस्थाओं के बीच पूरकताओं को देखते हुए हम इसे बहुत अधिक बढ़ा सकते हैं आपके साथ ब्राजील के प्रभावशाली बिजनेस डेलीगेशन का भारत में स्वागत करके हमें खुशी है मुझे विश्वास है कि भारतीय उद्यमियों और व्यापारियों के साथ उनकी मुलाकातों के अच्छे परिणाम आएंगे फ्रेंड दोनों देशों की ओर से इन्वेस्टमेंट को सुगम बनाने के लिए आवश्यक लीगल फ्रेमवर्क तैयार किया गया है आज के इंटरकनेक्टेड विश्व में भारत और ब्राजील के बीच सोशल सिक्योरिटी एग्रीमेंट प्रोफेशनल्स के आसान आवागमन के लिए एक महत्वपूर्ण कदम है फ्रेंड्स दो बड़े लोकतांत्रिक और विकासशील देश होने के नाते महत्वपूर्ण ग्लोबल और मल्टीलेटरल मुद्दों पर भारत और ब्राजील के विचारों में गहरी समानता है चाहे आतंकवाद की गंभीर समस्या हो या पर्यावरण का प्रश्न विश्व के सामने मौजूदा कठिन चुनौतियों पर हमारा नजरिया 
बहुत मिलता जुलता है ब्राजील और भारत के हित समान है विशेष रूप से ब्रिक्स और इप्सा में हमारी पार्टनरशिप भारत की विदेश नीति का एक महत्वपूर्ण पहलू है आज हमने तय किया है कि दोनों देश मल्टीलेटरल मुद्दों पर अपने सहयोग को और दृढ़ बनाएंगे और हम सुरक्षा परिषद संयुक्त राष्ट्र और अन्य अंतर्राष्ट्रीय संगठनों में आवश्यक सुधार के लिए मिलकर प्रयासरत रहेंगे साथियों मैं एक बार फिर राष्ट्रपति वर्सन और उनके डेलीगेशन का भारत में स्वागत करता हूं उनकी यह यात्रा भारत ब्राजील संबंधों में एक नए अध्याय की शुरुआत है मुई तो अब्रिगा दो धन्यवाद थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सर इट इज नाउ माई प्लेजर टू इन्वाइट हिज एक्सलेंसी मिस्टर जायर बोलसोनारो प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ द फेडरेटिव रिपब्लिक ऑफ ब्राजील टू डिलीवर हिज रिमार्क्स टू द मीडिया Prezado Sr. Ministro, Primeiro Ministro Narenda Modi. Dear Prime Minister, Mr. Narenda Modi, ladies and gentlemen at large, media professionals attending this session, it gives me great pride to come to India at this point in time at the invitation as chief guest of honor for India's most important and high-profile celebration, which is your National Republic Day. What I have felt here since I arrived has come as no surprise. Tremendous human warmth, a tremendous sense of affection and care, very much like we welcome the guests we love in Brazil. And that's, again, yet another element that brings us all together, the warmth of our two peoples human warmth. We have just signed 15 agreements and on our side we of course as part of an international visit we had no information on so many good agreements being signed during one bilateral visit, a state visit, the highest record on uh, the highest number on record in our history. So we have indeed further consolidated our working bilateral relations and I'm quite certain that in, in addition to all of these topics that we have covered today, we will see more matters of mutual interest emerge between us in our agendas, given the potentials that are there and also given the very relevant profile of our two nations and economies. We will certainly make much further strides and progress Brazil and India rank among the world's 10 largest economies today. Over the, together we account for 1.5 billion people. And that being the case, it is just natural that we be in a position to offer a great deal to each other. Brazil has a lot to offer India. And the other way around is very much true. India does have a great deal to offer Brazil, likewise. So yes, on the eve of India's National Republic Day, a very important date for India, I'm actually extremely anxious for tomorrow. I long for the celebrations tomorrow. So on the eve of that day today, what I can say is that <coughs> I am deeply moved by the perception that our two great countries, by entering into major strategic partnerships, we will consolidate our relations and will ensure that the world at large will look at us in a different light. Different though, dear Prime Minister Modi, thank you very much for the opportunity. I must admit, I still have two more days before I go back to Brazil, but I already miss India, even before I leave. This concludes the press event. Thank you all for joining.